The title of the presentation is The Reason Rally is Over, Now What? But first, I'm going to talk about what exactly happened at the Reason Rally. Then, that's my friend. <laughs> I'm going to talk about what happened at the Reason Rally. What did we accomplish? What has American atheists accomplished in the past year or so? And exactly what are we going to do about it? This is important because we all have to understand that the Reason Rally and Rock Beyond Belief all fits into a strategy that your movement, your atheist movement, has and is moving forward with. How does it work? Well, let's see where the reason, what happened at the Reason Rally. We had the objective to raise the awareness of the atheist movement and the atheist population. Now there's a misprint on this slide because it says the largest movement in, the largest atheist gathering in history by a factor of 10. Folks, our revised numbers are that 30,000 atheists showed up last week. Woo! Dot, 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 in the rain. Yeah. 30,000 in the rain. That's a factor of more than 10. The most, the, the largest atheist event before that was around 2,500 people. So we increased it by a factor of, well, more than 10, yeah. dot, 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 11? in the rain. <laughs> That's a big deal. We had the objective to unite the movement. And folks, a lot of people had came to the event last year, last week, and a lot of people had fun, but y'all have to understand that the Reason Rally was not an American atheist event, even though I was the chair. It was a movement-wide event. It was an event by everybody as equal partners. This was the first time in American history, the first time any time, that all the American major players in the atheist movement united behind a common cause and fought for a success. This was our first time, and we are primed to do it next time. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> We wanted to raise the awareness of the population at large to the theists. We needed the theists to see who we are and what we were doing and what did we get? A tremendous amount of press. A tremendous amount of press from CNN and from the New York Times and the Washington Post and USA Today and MSNBC. Oh, we had a lot of press except for Fox News. Fox News didn't have us on. Fox News didn't talk about us. Fox News had a blurb on their website. Why is that? Think about that. Before, they would bring me on, I would do O'Reilly and Hannity and Huckabee, and this time, we were doing this, we were doing the Reason Rally, the largest atheist event in world history, and Fox News went silent. Why did Fox News go silent? They're afraid. Because they're afraid. <laughs> because they don't want to show people how successful we are. They don't want to show the religious right the fact that atheism is exploding in America. This is fear, and we should learn to recognize it as a movement. What else did the Reason Rally accomplish? We wanted to show support from politicians. Well, we got two. We got a congressman and a senator, a theist and an atheist both saying that they endorsed what we were doing. Why is this important? Number one, because we have to make sure that every politician knows that Pete Stark is an outed atheist and continuously gets reelected. The myth Woo! that atheists can't be elected to Congress is dead and gone and proven wrong. We love proving things wrong, don't we? Yeah. Proven wrong, and we have to make sure that that message stays true. Tom Harkin, a senior senator from Iowa, also supported us with a video. He's a theist. And that's important. Because just as Pete Stark can represent theists and be an atheist, so can the theists represent atheists with pride, with enthusiasm, and with respect. And we have to thank Senator Harkin for sticking his neck out on the line so that we to deliver that message. We wanted to take back values. Let's face some facts. The values come from us. 
We're the ones who came up with the whole compassion and charity and giving and equality and diversity. And religion kind of stole them. Well, not so much the diversity and equality. Religion kind of left that out of it. But compassion and charity are ours. And we were there in force taking donations for charity. We were there in force showing our own diversity, our own compassion. We were there taking back those words which always have been ours, but they were usurped temporarily by the religious right. But values, those are secular values, and they're ours. And we already talked about the diversity of the movement, but you know what? That crowd was young, that crowd was multicultural, that crowd was man and woman, black and white, rich and poor, Republican and Democrat. That crowd was America. And it was an awesome, awesome crowd. And speaking about that, I wanted to make sure that we all had an awesome time. Did you all have an awesome time? That was epic. That was epic. Now, we have to push this a little bit to the side and talk about what American Atheists is doing. American Atheists is America's oldest 501c3 organization dedicated to and for atheist civil liberties. And we're very proud to be sponsoring this event. And proud, I, I like that picture of Justin sitting there like this. Yeah, damn right he's proud. Darn right he's proud. I didn't say that. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. <laughs> So, uh, Justin put this whole thing together and we're really proud of that. Now, uh, what has American Atheist been doing? Well, we did have a win at the Supreme Court this year. Yeah. The Utah Court.